Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be dealing with an infinite radical expression. In a short I will try to explain how these work. I'm not sure if I can cover everything, uh, every case, but at least I'm going to look, uh, look at the main cases. But uh, for this particular problem, uh, this is something that converges. First of all, let me tell you that. I'm not going to go into the proof, but this is an expression that converges. So you can find the value. Uh, and here's how we can find it. Uh, a lot of times with infinite radical expressions or infinite fractions sometimes, or continued fractions, you can set the whole thing equal to a variable like x. Okay, You don't have to use x, by the way. You can use y, and nobody is going to ask you why. Anyways, I'm going to use x, and then here's what I'm going to do. Square root of 3 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 2, dot, 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 so on and so forth, is equal to x. Okay, so what? Now, notice that this expression kind of repeats itself. What is the pattern? The pattern is we have the 3 and the 2 and then the 3 and the 2 and the 3 and the 2, and this goes on forever. So there's a pattern. Nice. I'd like to square both sides because it makes sense, right? Well, you're gonna, you'll get rid of uh, the outermost radical, at least. So 3 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 2, dot, dot, dot is going to equal x squared. Great, but not super great, because we still didn't get a pattern, a good enough pattern. Notice that the original expression starts with 3 and then goes on with 2. But now, if you ignore the 3 here and look at the rest, it's a different radical. So to get rid of another radical, we have to kind of uncover one more radical. Uh, let's square both sides again. Okay, let's square both sides, but this time we're squaring x squared, so that's double squared. 3 squared is going to be 9. When you square the radical, you're just going to get rid of the outermost radical and end up with 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 2, dot, 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 so on and so forth, equals x to the fourth power. Awesome. What does this give us? This gives us something very nice. Because if you look at the original problem, we were trying to evaluate or find the value that this converges to, you know, and it starts off with square root of 3. And guess what? We got the same expression one more time. That's really cool. And we could only get that by squaring twice. Couldn't we just raise it both sides to the fourth power? We could, but that would be harder. All right? So we got the original expression again. So this is also x. And that's very nice. Now we got a very simple, easy equation which is 9 times 2 is 18 times x equals x to the 4th power. Or if you want, I can write it as x to the 4th power equals 18x, because we should always write it in the standard form, highest power first, and then so on and so forth. Now, don't divide both sides by x. You could actually do that. Why not? But can x be 0? So that's the question you need to ask yourself. But let's not do it, because sometimes that causes issues. So let's go ahead and put everything on the same side. But if you want, you can do it. This gives me a polynomial equation, which is very easy to factor, right? Because I can take out x, and then inside I have x cubed minus 18. Great. So from here, I get two solutions. x equals 0, and x cubed equals 18 gives me x equals cube root of 18. Awesome. What happens with x equals 0? So let's go ahead and take a look at what x is, right? That's going to give us an idea, hopefully. So the original expression was called x, so it was the square root of 3 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 2, so on and so forth. Uh, we call this expression x. Can this expression be 0? No way. Because we do know that this expression is actually greater than square root of 3. Now, how do I know that this expression here is greater than square root of 3? I know that because, look at this, this expression is greater than 1, right? How do I know that? It's the square root of 2 times something. Obviously, the inside the radical, the expression, this expression is greater than square root of 2. Therefore, it's greater than 1. When you multiply by 3, the, the product is going to be greater than 3. Therefore, this is greater than square root of 3. So there's no way x can be 0. Obviously, it's a positive quantity. So we're going to discard that and go with the other solution which is the cube root of 18. And 
This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.